Today's video, I'm recording over a video that I just recorded two hours ago because for some reason my microphone didn't work and I recorded the whole thing. But today's video is going to be about refining your equipment, how to use refining to progress your gear and to optimize sub stats. This is a mid to end game type of thing, really for six star gear. If you like all my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell ding ding thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the day. I just want to take a second to thank Com to us. They listened to the community and they delivered. The longevity of a mobile game really highly depends on the company and the feedback that the players give them. Com to us is showing that they are in it for the long haul. There will be a patch tonight, Tuesday night, or Wednesday morning, depending on where you live. The mining cap is going to be increased. For people who haven't bought the pass, the mining cap is now up to 1,000. For people who buy the pass, it is increased to 2,000. So before it was 20% of whatever the pass players have. Now it's at 50%, and a thousand daily cap is actually not bad. This is a very good change. This will help in professions. And if people complain about the pass players getting a cap of 2,000, well, I'm sorry, you're playing a game for free. People who pay should have at least double income of what free-to-play players have. That's the free-to-play structure. But kudos to come to us for doing the right thing. The more you know. All right, if you see Doppelganger barcode waving his arm and doing something behind me, like I said, I already recorded this video, but the audio did not go through. So I'm pissed. Today's video is going to be about refining equipment. What materials you need, where to get the materials, and how to use refining equipment to optimize your stats. For refining equipment, there's really a total of five materials that you will need. Refined stones, sky stones, reservation stones, refining catalysts, and enhancement shards. Where do we get these things, might you ask? Let's talk about refined stones first. The main place to get this is Galagos Ruins. EU Asia, you do not have that yet. And that's okay because really you want to work on refined equipment when you get six star gear. You can also get refined stones in certain events and other random things in the game. But the real only place to farm this is in Galagos Ruins. In Galagos Ruins you also get coins which you can spend in the Galagos shop which will get refining catalysts. I'll talk about how to use refining catalysts later. But refining catalysts upgrade the substats grade to get higher substat rolls. And of course, sky stones, because you need sky stones everywhere, right? Preservation stones are another piece of material that you will need. Refined stones and preservation stones are what you really, really need to refine your equipment. You can craft preservation stones yourself in the processing tab. There's no limit, and all it takes is one of the materials I talked about, enhancement shards. Enhancement shards are when you disassemble summoner gear. So all that crappy gear that you don't use anymore, you disassemble. You get enhancement shards. You can craft them, but I highly suggest not to. It takes faint magic core and tree branches. Don't do it. You can also get enhancement shards through guild login, through the Wheel of Fortune and guild, and also it sometimes randomly comes up as rewards for guild daily requests. Really, the only thing I didn't talk about is where to farm Skystones. As you know, it is Battlefield. Battlefield is the main place. You also get it in Ruptures, the Daily Special Expedition, and of course, the Stupid Leaf System. I still feel like there should be a daily cap on that. Not that I don't like everybody farming Skystones, don't get me wrong. But when people get kicked from raids all the time just because people don't have a leaf, it's really annoying. Just let everyone be able to support like three times a day to anyone and you just get sky stones for it that'd be better all right so let's talk about how to optimize your substats and refining equipment like i said i would only focus on like six star gear eu asia server if you really have like max awakening five star gear i guess if you want to optimize you can use refining equipment but i would just save save for when six star gear come out you're on a way faster progression than north america ever was you'll get six star gear before you know it and only use it on legendary gear. Highly important. Each piece of gear has four substats 
and each substat has its own grade. The grade is the actual strength of that substat role. And when I mean a role, as you see like D1 crit rate over there, it's got a low row of 5.1%. If it was an S tier, it would be a higher percentage. S is the strongest, all the way down to A, B, C, D, where D is the lowest strength. So with refined stones, the blue ones, you can change every single substat in your gear with refined stones and sky stones. If you don't click on any of your substats and gray them out, you can change every single substat. The grades will stay the same, and the amount of rolls into it, like this B3, will stay the same. Just the substat will change. Now, as you see on this piece of gear, I have one S grade, the other one's B, and two of them are Ds. If I click on this box right here for refining catalyst, what that will do is increase every single substat that is highlighted. All four of these are highlighted. It would take three of my refining catalysts and increase the grade of each substat. Now, as you see here, I clicked on crit rate and it becomes grayed out. This means that nothing will change this substat, the type that it is and the grade that it is. Ultimately, you want all S grade gear, every single substat to be S's. So if you really want to optimize your refined stones and your refining catalysts, in this situation, you would check off the defensive percentage S1. This would leave the three other substats up. You would check off the refining catalyst box. You hit refine and it would upgrade all three of your substats to the next level. Precision would go to A3. Crit rate and crit damage would go to C1 and C2 respectively. This would also change the substat that it is. So I always recommend to use Refining Catalyst first, get those grades up, and then you can just re-roll all the substats that you need to, to get the best rolls. Let's take this Second Awakening 6 star wind staff for example. This is a good way to optimize your substats with limited materials. Really only one good substat is on this piece of gear. That is the B3 roll of crit rate. Defense percentage is okay, but evasion and resistance, meh. I'd prefer like attack percent, crit damage, and then either accuracy, HP, or defense. I want to get rid of the defense, evasion, and resistance substats on this gear. A chance to roll into something better. I want the crit rate on this staff, so I'm going to check that off. I do want to upgrade its grade later, and I will do that. But because I have limited materials, I'm going to keep the crit rate and try to roll the other three substats. But I also want to upgrade those B substat grades. So I'm going to use refining catalysts as well as preservation stones with the refined stones. So doing this will be two refining catalysts and 18 reservation stones. And then I'm going to see what it's going to roll into. Hopefully I get some good RNG. So once you click refine, it'll say sub property grade will increase with 100% chance. Do you want to use the catalyst? Yes, I do. So once you hit OK, it'll roll and have success. And then two different sets of stats will pop up. As you see, the two top rolls change to A grades. That's because I use refining catalysts. And also the substats change to accuracy, crit damage, and flat defense. So in my opinion, much better than the old stats. If you want the new stats, then you have to hit the new sub properties button on the bottom right. I'd show you, but this other barcode's in the way too. If you want to keep the old stats, then it's the bottom left keep button. Don't think the keep button is for the new sub stats, okay? So there's the new stats to the weapon, and ultimately what I really want to do while trying to keep my stats where they are now is get all these grades to S. And then what I can do is use preservation stones to maybe get the crit damage on the S2 or attack on the S2 or get this staff to plus 12 and see where the next roll will go. There's so many ways you can use refining catalysts and refined stones to optimize your stats on your weapons and gear. As you see, the more stats that you select to keep, it will cost you much more preservation stones and less refining catalysts. So this is a way to target individual substats. Surprise!
Second tip of the day. You need those refined stones, so you gotta farm Galagos. Now, troll to us, I mean, comp to us, put a trap floor on third floor stage one. Trap floors are frustrating and annoying, but I'm gonna show you how to beat it. When you select the 30 monsters, make sure that you at least have a Bernard or a Remy. You need a movement speed monster. This will help you beat the trap floor a little bit easier. You also want to bring a healer slash cleanser just in case you take too much damage from the traps. You only need to bring one movement speed monster in the 30, but you always want to bring one just in case this kind of situation happens. With the cleanser or healer, it just has to be a lower prioritized monster for you. It doesn't even need to be 6 stars. A level 50 just awaken 5 healer cleanser to remove the traps when they give you movement speed down and to heal you so you don't die. Alright, so here we go. Really, from the start, I just used the movement speed from Bernard on Soul Link. And I use it before I go past all of the traps. The main thing about this, though, is having all of your dashes up. You should have, by now, the skills maxed for three dashes and the cooldown of the dashes to be lowered as well. But what you need to do and pay attention to are these little wind turbine gust machines. Those are what kills you in these trap floors. If you get hit by those turbines, your buffs will be removed. So it's very important to see the timing of the wind turbine burst and use your skill before you start going into the dungeon. Then when you go past, you just dash as much as you can because if you dash, it will not hit you in the middle of the dash. Also, you should map out where to go before you enter into a room because like right here, for example, I'm an idiot and I just run into a bunch of pillars, so that's cool. However, I still make it out alive, no big deal. I got patience, plenty of time, don't stress, right? Just map out your course, use the movement speed buff, and whenever you see a blue little frost thing on the ground, don't step in it. And if you see turbines, you dash through so you do not get in the way and get knocked back doppelganger barcode back there peeked his head out i saw you but that's how you beat a trap floor in galagos the more you know the more you know and that's it for today's video i just wanted to talk about refining equipment because it is new eu asia you will be able to use these resources in the near future on six star gear i would not spend resources as free to play on five star gear you're gonna get them replaced soon enough if you like all my videos and content sub like, ding, ding, a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.